hello everyone hope you are doing good today so in today's video i am going to explain you how you can validate a jwt token in java using rsa algorithm okay so in my last video i have uh, shown to you how you can create a jwt token in java using rsa algorithm okay so today i am going to validate that token using rsa algorithm so let's start so in my last video i have explained to you how you can create a, a private key and uh, also public key so now i am going to use that public key to validate the jwt okay so so in my last video i have created uh, this two key that is private key and public key so using this private key i have already generated a jwt jwt token so i am going to validate it using the public key okay so in java how you can do it so to validate it i have created a api name authenticate so for you it can be anything uh, depends on your project so i will take that jwt as a input in http header okay so this is my header name so i will use this header to pass the token to server and then how you can validate it so i have created a method to verify jwt here you need you just need to pass the token okay and uh, the validation will also be done using the same uh, dependencies as i explained to you before so this api is provided by java that is called uh, java jwt api jjwt api so you can use this three dependencies to validate the token you can download the source code from uh, github and you can use the, the dependencies in your project so here so this class is used to verify it so that is jwts which is provided by io.json web token from here you can have this class from this uh, one of these three dependencies and then then you have to provide uh, the audience as i explained to you that uh, when you create a, created the jwt you have provided a audience okay so you can verify that also that uh, the audience is proper or not so you can have uh, many many audience right so you can verify the audience and also you can verify the issuer so who issued the jwt t so if uh, these are uh, not matched then it will uh, throw an error and then uh, you can uh, provide the public key here to verify it whether it is a valid uh, jwt token generated by you or not because you have uh, generated it using the private key you have and also you created the public key using that uh, private key and then you need to call these methods okay so it will also parse uh, the jwt t and it will give you the claims like this a uh, collection of uh, all the content it will provide to you then you can uh, iterate these claims and you can find all the content uh, and the technical things also and then uh, if there is any issue in the jwt it will throw this exception if the signature is not valid if the jwt expired so then you can create your own message to forward it to user so that user can display it in the browser okay so mal formatted exception like if the jwt format is not valid or there is some illegal uh, argument so there are many i think you can find it out from the internet okay and then how i am reading the public key so it's the same as uh, private key so you just need to read your public key using the java file uh, class okay and then you need to create a input stream and then you have to use the certificate factory 
that is uh, provided by java also java dot security package and then uh, you can uh, create uh, the public key like this and you can return the key class okay and then you have to pass this key class to the j java jwt libraries okay and then it will validate it using your uh, public key and uh, after validating it so you will have this uh, if you use the parse claim okay you will have the collection of claims like this okay and then uh, you can iterate it so there is a content key okay from where you will get the content and then you will get the issuer like this my claim says a um, uh, method called get body from here you will get the issuer subject audience so all these things you can use uh, for many purposes is it's depend on your project okay so here if the jwt is not valid that means uh, it will uh, be in the exception block okay so from here you can return something uh, to the user for me i am just return, returning forbidden if it is not valid it will return some uh, http status code okay and then it will uh, get the message from uh, the exception and then it will uh, be forwarded to the user okay so let me build the project and then I will uh, show you after deploying so I think my server is running let me stop it so build successful so let me deploy the year deploy the war file so it's already started you see uh, I have uh, three API that is uh, this one as I explained to you before to generate the JWT using HS uh, 512 this uh, API login RSA to generate the JWT using uh, RSA algorithm so I am going to use it to generate the JWT token so I have already used it before to show you so you see so this is the JWT okay and uh, now I am going to take the another URL authenticate so you have to send something in the header okay so it's better to use uh, some tools to do the test so for me I will use the SOAP UI so this is the uh, URL you see here okay so this is my API authenticate API okay so now let me copy the JWT token and then I have created a header here okay in the header I am passing the this key as I have uh, explained to you I have created a new header okay so in this header I am expecting the JWT token so now let's call the API you see JWT formatted invalid so maybe I have copied something wrong let me go to jwt dot first okay it's a valid token so now let me call the api again i don't know maybe there is something you see auth, uh, auth success so now if you put something here okay if you see i put uh, another character here and if you call this API it will say JWT format is invalid okay and now let me show you let me create the JWT using um, HS512 algorithm okay so this is the API which will uh, create the JWT using HS512 algorithm so this is the JWT using uh, HS512 if I will try to validate it using HS512 you will get error okay I think I copied something wrong I don't know why 
let's select this let me paste it here first ok fine you see jwt is not supported ok that means it's uh, created by another algorithm so that's all from today's videos i will uh, provide the github link for the source code in the description of this video you can download it and you can test it in your local or you can just copy paste the copy paste uh, the validation part okay and all these methods and you can use it in your project so thank you guys thanks for watching the video if you like the content then please uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos